All right, welcome back to episode numero tres. Uh, we just finished killing the dragon down in uh, the Western Watchtower with our companion Feindal, which we're gonna be switching out very soon here for uh, Lydia instead. Oh, and yeah. Also, the Greybeard talk. So what happened at the Watchtower? I killed the dragon. Must move along, be bitty bap. Dragonborn. Yeah. So it's true. Greybeard. I'm just gonna exit the conversation, You've talk to him again, move right the conversation the along. I assign you. I'll also. We are up the Greybeard. All right. Just give me one second. I'm gonna turn down master volume effect, footsteps. Definitely effect twice. Um, and music twice. <clears throat> Let's see if I have any, uh, I can level up, but I'll save it for a little bit. See if I have anything I can disenchant at the table. At the high table. Uh, does five points of stamina damage. No. Not gonna disenchant that. Can I, can I, yeah, I was, uh, was gonna buy soul trap from this guy. Spells and incantations for those with, for the, those talent with the talents to cast them. <laughs> Soul Trap is far down. There we go. Feindal, I don't really need your help anymore. Um, what do you want me to carry? I can I can take its gauntlets now. Key to Feindal's house, yes. I haven't been there yet. That is uh unprofessional. <laughs> Wait a second. There we go, put on his gauntlets and then I'll time for us to part ways, my man. Be careful. Be careful. Has, appointed me to be has he now? Lead the way. Let's go, Lydia. I, I put the yeah, I put the gauntlets on. Um, so quickly, I'm just gonna find the owner of the Golden Claw. Not gonna return um, the sword to Vilkas yet. We still have <laughs> we still have some stuff to take care of. Uh, mainly going up to Iverstead and talking to the Greybeards. Which I should totally have a horse for because there is a shortcut that you can take that, uh, you know, cuts the time. They look pretty cool, the hounds. But my god, they're hard. So yeah, I picked up the Feindal's key. He doesn't he doesn't have a lot of good stuff in his uh, <clears throat> in his house, but you know it's worth at least having a look at before moving on. Uh, garlic. You can find garlic in a, a few houses in, you know, Riverwood and other places. Two iron arrows, why not? Lydia doesn't have a particularly good weapon. Not gonna give her the Mace of Molag Baal yet. Uh, probably need to collect a few more. I wonder if she uses a torch if it gets dark. No, I picked up the wooden bowl. That's not W, so it's far down. Here you go. I'm gonna give you a torch just, just to, like, test it. She just has the regular bow. I can give her some of these arrows. Yeah, of course, the sort of cold. Um, and the torch. Some followers, I think, will do that. But I am not too sure which. Or I don't know which. Scroll of Mayhem is too expensive to steal. Well, Afendal is my boy. Why? Sorry, that's not... Let's get going. <clears throat> See, I don't think this, the ingots will have respawned. They have absolutely not. Um, I haven't actually cleared Ember Shard yet. I could do that. Let me just check how much money I have. See if I can buy a horse. No. So I'm going to go clear Ember Shard then. Just, I mean, you get a few iron ingots or iron ores. Which are good for, um, okay. yeah, it's a, it's a mine, but sure, you can call it a cave. Pull out the torch, Lydia. No, she's not one of them. <laughs> she's not going to do that. Mind the trap. Oh, never mind. 
Gonna get one sneak attack down on these guys. Nara's equipped. Why doesn't it just equip it automatically? Come on. When I put the ball on. Oh. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that is bad. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't the what the hell. Ow. Bash you. Jesus, Lydia. Take it easy. <laughs> Uh, I saw that said something else. Right. Um, I didn't have a pickaxe, pickaxe apparently, so kind of pick up the pickaxe, and I will feed on them just one moment. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna like skip the mining animation. It's, it's tedious, I know, but I feel like it messes with the game, especially in the in the later stages of it to where you know you know it starts glitching out the game i think the ores uh respawn or don't respawn it just it just is not worth it for me i'm not gonna do that much mining um i'm not gonna go out of my way for for mining on the mining note though you know when it comes to uh, leveling leveling smithing up to level uh 100 right i think i saw on the wiki that it takes about 2200 uh, iron daggers, right? Everybody knows about the iron dagger method and <clears throat> Bandit shield number two and and uh, you know, that's 2200 iron ingots or iron ores plus 2200 leather strips uh, However, I think if you mine every single mine that's in the game and then if you include on top of that like every single ore vein There's no way near in all of Skyrim. There's no way near enough iron to um to get you all the way there now obviously the 2200 number is i think uh based off of you know you not having the the, the warrior stone or the lover stone or anything like that any rested bonuses or anything so take that number down to like i don't know 1800 or something it's still a lot of iron i don't think it exists that much i did one playthrough where i tried to minus every single ore i came across like every single one um all the way to like level 30 and i was like you know collecting them and i had like 300 i think that's <laughs> that is so bad i mined you know ember shard i mined uh halted stream camp i mined every goddamn orvin i came across just in the in the wild um i don't think i bought any from the blacksmith but that's my point you kind of have to buy if you're gonna make your way all the way to 100 um in smithing so there's no point in being stingy really with uh with the mining of the ores i will be missing some ores in this yeah <laughs> in this uh in this dungeon in particular i know where they are but i just you know i'm not gonna mine every single one takes for goddamn ever <clears throat> lydia's using her bow right now i think house cards eventually get to about level 70 in archery i mentioned this earlier but you know house cards have some of the best stats for followers in the game because they have one-handed two-handed uh very high i think two-handed is also at max level will be, will be 70. uh one-handed is 100 block is 100 heavy armor is 100 um again at max level she scales up to 50 and all house calls, by the way, have this. All the house calls that are one-handed house calls, which are the most uh, common type of house call. They just serve as like freaking tanks to just aid you. It's amazing. Um, sacks contain a lot of salt pile, or can contain salt pile. Salt pile is a very useful ingredient, but not gonna be... <laughs> I, I freaking love these guys, man. I've gotta put you down. Ow, Lydia, he's beating you up. Why are you using your bow though? See, she's kind of wasting arrows. That's a that's the thing that I kind of dislike about followers. Uh, I would ideally like them to save their arrows for dragons, because that's really when I, you know, they can shoot the dragon when it's on in the air, and we can fight them together when it's on the ground. But no, they'll be doing this kind of stuff right here, where they just hang on. Let me just put on the foos. I do have it on. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit annoying because you know she'll run out of arrows, and then when a dragon fight comes along, 
Haha, <laughs> I don't have any arrows left. Whoop the freaking do. God damn, Lydia. I think Skyrim used to have a thing where um, you could give your, your followers one arrow and that would be enough. So you give them like a Daedric arrow and they would have infinite. I think they've passed that either with the special edition of the game or uh, with, you know, whatever mods that I have installed. Uh, what is it? What is that one mod called? Uh, the mod that just overall makes the game. That's one I think is very important for everyone to have. It doesn't change anything of the game. The only thing it does, like uh, sort of physically, the only thing it does is like makes quests less glitchy um, and, and, you know, other things like that. You have a, a smaller chance, I guess, of like crashing your game. Uh, what is it called? It's like Skyrim, the unofficial patch, I think the mod is called. Yeah, that one can be very beneficial to download. I hope I have. Oh, she's holding a goddamn torch. Look at that. <laughs> I guess she's doing it when it's dark outside. Then again, I've, I've already said this, but I don't like to um, to play when it's dark outside. Um, let's uh, see if I have enough for a horse. God, Jesus. Do I have anything I can sell? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Dragon scales. I have a bunch of garnets. Uh, I didn't actually end up talking to Luke and Valerian. And, uh, huh? And giving him his golden claw back. One little thing that you can do if you don't give Luke and his claw back, uh, he will forever stay open. So, the river would, my sister, did something uh, happen? Yeah, an ornament. He will never close his shop, basically. But I mean, it's just one shop, so I don't know if that's that beneficial for you. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. Maybe you're looking for something. Oh, I almost stole Trinkets, it. Odds and ends. I've that done that before. Thing. He gets pissed. Um, I could, I could technically sell that to the blacksmith. So let's just go ahead and sell him things that the blacksmith cannot buy. I like to keep um, the silver amulets and stuff. That's what I use later when I need to. Um, What do you call that? When I need to enchant things, I put on silver stuff. Yeah, this should totally be enough to... Yeah, I've, I've definitely have enough for a horse now. Yeah, you can take that. Can I can I buy anything from him? I ideally don't like to buy things like soul gems, but if you don't mind that, buying lesser souls and petty souls can be very beneficial for starting to train yourself in conjuration. Um, I now have the conjuration spell. Have, However, I need to get to level... Till next time. Uh, hello. So much to us to have the Get to level 25 conjuration before I can use apprentice and, and lower the cost of it and all that stuff. Let me just quickly wait 10 hours for uh, Alvor to come out. And I, I think I had some weapons that I could potentially sell him. Then I'm going to go to Helgen. Just wait one more after it's 8. And he should spawn outside. Wait one more to make him start working. No, yeah, there we go. May the gods... May the gods watch over your battles, friend. So yeah, this one I can sell him. That was it. I mean, I, technically it's a heavy weapon. I can make the pelt into leather. I think that de does that decrease your overall weight? Carry weight is 69. No, it's kept at the same. It's only when you make it into leather strips that it decreases your uh, ideal weight. So 28 leather. I wish it told you how many leather strips you have. I, I usually like to have twice as many leather strips um, as leather. All right, lids. Let's get a horse. I have a horse. Oh my God! Never mind. <laughs> Hard to keep track sometimes of everything you've done. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, the horse is gonna be good for uh, moving a little bit quicker. So along this road here. On the way to Averstad, you get a bunch of mountain flowers. Uh, blue blue mountain flower is the best one. Red can be decent as well. Uh, but yeah, look how nice the weather is right now. Look at the moon. I've been watching some space movies. God damn, space movies are amazing. Uh, almost every single space movie of like a high budget will have the most insane soundtrack. 
you will have ever heard. Because it's space, right? There's no, there's no noise, no music. There's no background like music or, or noise, I guess. So they have to compensate for that with uh, adding music to space movies. And it's just amazing, you know, <clears throat> Interstellar, Ad Astra. Um, what else? I watched a movie called Life. That one was really good, too. And it's just overall fun. I've heard Gravity is good. Haven't watched that one, though. Hey, Marshane. Yeah, Hey, Marshane um, will be the third Daedric Artifact I sh I, I'm going to get. However, it's a level lock to 10, if I'm not mistaken. Do not even. Dalmor. Dalmor pigs. I don't know what you call them. Scum? No, that's rebel scum. Um, it's Imperial Bastards. Rebel Scum from Star Wars. And Thalmor... I think it's pigs they call them. I don't know. I'm gonna ignore the wolves. The wolves. A bear wolf. Just need some of that XP. Not gonna kill you. I'm not against nature. <laughs> I need my horse stamina to regen. Because there could potentially be a burr. A big burr. There's a wolf. There's a there's a dungeon or a cave in there that has I think two either two or three bears. Uh, bears are, you know, above my skill level right now. I cannot defeat bears reliably, or at all without Lydia's help. They're extremely quick, extremely strong. And here we go, Iverstead. Uh, Klimic should be by the bridge. I'm just quickly gonna talk to him before heading. Heading up to 7 million steps. Wheat can be mixed with creep cluster. On your way up to 7, steps. On your way uh, up. What type of level do you make? Graybeards tend not to. Well, the trouble is, my legs. Really? Here, take this bag of supplies. Um, so, in that cave in front of me there, there is a smithing skill book, I believe. And, and it's also guarded by bears. And yeah, by the way, there, there aren't actually like 7,000 steps. That would be absolutely absurd. Uh, it's probably, it's, it's like around either 700 or between 400 and 700. I didn't count them, by the way. I'm not crazy. Um, I think I heard that in someone's walkthrough uh, at one point in the past. So, gonna go back to uh, Hamar Shane, right? And then I'm gonna trot a little bit back here towards the Stormcloak camp and then there should be like this opening that is gonna allow me to scale the mountain with uh, with the horse. <clears throat> Horses in Skyrim are OP when it comes to scaling 90 degree angles or almost 90 degree angles but you know they can they are a little glitchy it's not supposed to be the case however um, the walk up to High Rothgar is so tedious. I mean, come on. No one wants to see that. <clears throat> and you fight a, a bit, of, a few wolves and stuff on the way there. As long as, um, well, depending on what level you are. So, here, right, Mia, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, wait one hour for Lydia. And then kill this pilgrim. Because she has a few valuable items on her. That uh, will benefit both me and Lydia. Lydia has a frost sword. That's not that's not very beneficial. So, ring of wielding. Uh, I'm gonna give that to her because uh, I have the ring of Nymira. Boots, amulet of Talos. Definitely gonna wear that, and then give Lydia the amulet of RK. I've got your back. I am at your command. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see, you can take this one, and this one just because you look cool with it, <clears throat> and this one, I'll keep the, the, the thing. See, there's a troll ahead, but I don't know if I'm going to fight the troll, because the troll kills you really quickly, right? And it, he kills Lydia really quickly too. Um, and it, it, trolls in Skyrim don't give you a lot of anything. I guess I can try it. 
I guess I can try it. Let me f let me just uh, save, feed, because again, sometimes it does bug out when you feed on enemies. Then I'm gonna put my horse close, but not too too close. Oh, cool! I have you probably can't see it in the video, but I had like an aura of uh, red around me, kind of like um, like in Dark Souls when. Um, you defeat 500 people in the blood Brotherhood of Blood Covenant. I had that oozing off of me. Or like in this game, like the illusion spell Fury. Kind of like that. Alright, so... Flames, let's just hotkey that. I want Lydia to take the bulk of the damage. Or the bulk of the brunt of the force. <laughs> I have the Steed Stone so I can move a certain pace. I need to use Flames to... I mean, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get the horse involved in it. Hang on, I just need to focus. I don't want to hit Lydia with it. Why are you hitting me? Uh, you, oh crap, see what I mean? There we go. You want to use flames to... Uh, zero health. How is that even possible? How am I at zero health? <laughs> I have two levels. Three levels. Holy smokes. Bro, would you get off my dick? What is happening? Alright, so the horse is helping, you focus on them. Can I uh, do both? I think I can. Yeah, like this. But you, you kind of want to save your man a little bit. If Lydia gets down, I'm down. Yeah, she's down. See, the troll is way too powerful. Like, it's impossible, I'm sorry. And if I shout at her now, ah, she will die. So... I can't defeat him, <laughs> not on Master Difficulty, not even with Vilka's sword. That's the, the, bar, the annoying part. I mean, we had the horse, we had Lydia, we had me. That was insane. She was blocking and everything. This game, yo. She's gonna be stuck with him for a little bit because the troll... Uh, continuously down downs her but you know before I make any proper save I obviously want to get her back just in case but we probably need to get further away from the troll to be honest remove the shield for that carry weight and uh, yeah the sad thing is I don't have the horse now so I can't um, travel quickly Lydia, you better not disappoint me. When I enter Ro uh, High Rothgar, you better be there. You can read these tablets on the way uh, up the mountain. But you have to start from Iverstead, though. And uh, they give you... Um, I've never done it myself, but they give you, like... It's kind of like the Animal Allegiance shout. They make animals be passive towards you for a certain amount of time. See, I wonder if you can use that against the troll, but I think if you attack the animal, it, he's still... Um, aggros essentially so so let's discover High Rothgar and let's fast travel there just see if Lydia comes yes she did hogwash let me just do that <laughs> you alright there she's holding her torch the horse is here as well Klimic's bag. I always forget to get back to him. Uh, and now, there's gonna be quite a bit of dialogue from, from Arngir and uh, the other ones. Not not the other ones. I mean, he's the only one that talks. So just fools him so that he... Because he tells you, oh, let us have a taste oh. of your voice. I am Master Arngir. The Grey Beers, I believe, are like 120. They use a shout like uh, ice form. Into a shout. So things are marked as steel here, but you know, once you befriend them and become the, the you know, stage four Super Saiyan, um, you uh, <clears throat> you can take things. 
bomb skip. Bomb skip. <laughs> he has a lot, like, he has a lot of dialogue. Sometimes NPCs in Skyrim do this, and you can't skip them because you're not, like, in a conversation with them. They're just talking. But yeah, it would be nice to, uh... Because every time I play Skyrim, this section is very tedious. And this is, you know, this game is 928 years old. So I don't really feel like I need to show every bit of dialogue. As long as you get the gist. Is it? Dunk. Would allow you to tap into his understanding. Let's give Lydia some of that. Alright, so he wants us to use... I did. Ha I do have the amulet of Talos, right? This doesn't matter, but... You can, uh, you can do it regardless. Come over here. I don't want you to be in the way. Feek. Losa. I will. Come on. Master Bori. Losa. That's one of the mods. It makes the unrelenting force shout sound like the one that from the trailer. Which I have no idea why they didn't do that. Well, I mean, no. So I do, okay. but... Uh, it's still... It's still not the same because it's, it's so much cooler this way. Normally, the unrelenting force shout will sound like Foos. Right? It takes a break. Foos. Roda! Right? But... That's not as cool as this one. I'm doing. The reason they do that is, I think, because um, if you want to use just one word of power, it's easier because he takes a break. It allows you to let go of the uh, uh, shouting button, essentially. I think that's the way, the reason that they do it. But you you can still probably do just tap it, right? And if you want to use it twice, you just hold it for a little bit. If you want to use it three times, you hold it all the way. Pressing a button does it only takes milliseconds, so if you're precise, you can do it. Just uh, wait for everybody. Lock my car. There we go. So again, all the shouts are like that. They say one word and then take like half a second break and then say the other two right after one another. Whirlwind. Where are you? Master boy. Open the gate. You will pass through before it closes. Before you can project it into a thumb. Oh, I see. Of wood. So they're giving you like the equivalent of absorbing a dragon soul. Let me switch to it because I I often forget to do that and I just end up shouting at the gate. Okay. You go first, Wolfgar. They're getting all the Greybeards involved in this uh, test. Do torches last forever? Yeah, look how far he goes. <laughs> look how not far I will go. Master Bori will open the gate. I know. Use your whirlwind to pass through before it closes. Wolfnakest. Your quick mastery of a new thumb is uh, astonishing. So what's next? You are now retrieved. Remain true to the, true way, to of the way of the voice. You, you can ask him a bunch of questions. Uh, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. But now, next up, we're going to Ustengrav. Which is a funny-ass name if you speak Norwegian. Usten means the cheese, and grave means grave, obviously. So, that translates to the cheese grave. Uh, hence, you know, since this is like a Nordic game or a, a Nordic province, the Nords do kind of look like uh, Norwegian, Swedish people. Uh, I wonder if, <laughs> if they did that on purpose just for the heck of it. I can take you... Don't know what it is in Swedish though, even though it's uh, quite a similar language. Morthal. Morthal is crawling. Yeah, I have. Morthal is crawling with Deathbell. A very good ingredient as well. 
one of the top eight, maybe six, I would say. When I rank, when I rank ingredients, I'm talking in terms of like how how abundant they are versus how good they are for making potions. You know, so the ratio of um, their usefulness versus their ra rarity. That's a hard word to say. How rare they are. A giant stove is obviously one of the best ones, but it's so hard to come by because you have to kill a giant. Um, and they're level locked at like either 32 or 42. So they will never be a lower level than that. And, you know, you, you actually having to kill a giant is a little bit more difficult than just picking a flower. Uh, let me make sure that I have the quest on because I always end up going the wrong direction. See, I forgot to return to Klimek again. I always do that. I just get super excited with the horn of Jurgen Windcaller and uh, forget. Is that a wolf? No, it's a fox. Oh, respite. Like when you when you get to level 40 restoration, that's why restoration is one of my favorite. Um, not m one, it's my favorite uh, skill tree in the game, followed by block. I'm a very defensive player. Not really, but I like the, those two. There's just so much in restoration that can help you uh, as a warrior. Uh, the perk respite is one of them as well. It makes, uh, when you heal yourself, you also heal stamina. Let me see. I have Soul Trap, but I don't yet have... I guess I can just start... Do I, Please tell me I have Soul Trap. I did buy it. I remember that. So let me just Soul Trap this thing. Even though it's going to take all of my stamina. Just for uh, level ups. And also I can fill up the Soul Gems. I have 4 Petty and... Nothing. No lesser. No, nothing like that. So here we're going to have a fight coming up. There is this... Uh, Witch, Necromage, she's like their, their master, they're like thralls, so when she dies, oh, wrong shout, gosh darn it, so when she dies, they die, oh, I missed, if I get power attack now, oh, it's gonna be so bad, Lydia, stop with the goddamn arrows, you kind of have to like, force her AI to use her weapon, it's a little bit silly, I don't know if there are mods on console because that's something I would deem useful that would make your followers AI be a little smarter I feel like I've seen it before but I you know last time I checked I couldn't find it just kill her just kill her look boom mission accomplished I'm pretty sure she he would have died though maybe not I will feed on their corpse in a second I just need to uh, loot some stuff first you know you only have a five minute anabolic window when you uh, feed on people's corpses And if you don't get your nutrients, your protein... <laughs> uh, hang on. Let me sleep for an hour. I will become a werewolf. I will be becoming a werewolf. Uh, which means that... I won't be able to have the rested bonus anymore. Once I'm a werewolf. But that's alright. Lockpick hammer. Um, there are some humans in the very, very beginning of the dungeon, but the, eventually they do, it stops becoming human. So, I'm gonna end this here, and then come back for, uh, do stuff.